Hmm, what's this? Hello, welcome back to The Freak Show. Bumpy Mix Quickums here. I want to thank you all for joining me. XCOM 2 is here. Episode 33 is upon us. And we are going to do murderous, horrible, awful things to everything around us and make them weep and cry. And it's going to be fun, guys. It's going to be fun. All right, so let's go do those things. I had some sour candy that my wife decided to give me. And the whole left side of my tongue is like rotted away now or dissolved from the sour candy. So it hurts to talk a little bit. I should not eat sour candy anymore. Apparently that is a thing that my body cannot quite handle at this particular moment. Alright, what is here? Shadow Chamber, Archon Mutant, Enemy Unknown, uh, Advanced Officer, Advanced Trooper, Heavy MEC, Elite Shield Breaker, Viper, Andromedon, and Sectoid. I don't really think I want to do this one yet. It seems a little bit terrifying. Maybe we'll go after this. Andromedon, Elite Shield Breaker, Elite Trooper, Elite Officer, Archon, and Sectoid. Still terrifying, but maybe slightly less so? I don't know. Let's go in and see if we can not handle this. Alright, um... It's gonna be a thing, folks. It's gonna be a thing. I think we're going to... bring Face Tank with us this time around. I'm gonna go with our A-Team for this particular mission. We probably don't need to, though. Hmm. Um, you know what? I'm just going to roll out with who we have right now. I think that's going to be the play. I'm going to swap this, though. And put a plasma granade there. And we're going to put a flashbang here. I think that's going to be okay. Alright, so that's the plan. Everything is set already, I guess. Um, was there anything else that we needed to do? Uh, I think we have the option of another heavy weapon, the Shredder gun here. 4 to 7, this does 6 to 9. Seems to do quite a bit more damage. Try your Shredder gun and the cone. The range is a little bit less than this. I think it's the same as the actual flamethrower, though. Let's see, the flamethrower is 25, yeah, it's the same. Alright, well, we'll try the shredder gun, and we'll hope that that actually works out pretty good. Sounds cool, we're big turtle fans, so, you know, the shredder gun does seem like it'd be legit. I think we're going to keep her in, we're going to go with this group. We're going to hope for the best, guys and gals. We have Odie Overstep that needs to rank up, and I think the colonel still needs to rank up to colonel, he's not quite there yet. So we have a captain, a captain, a lieutenant, a major, and two colonels, or colonels as it were. So, let us begin right away. Less than three minutes into the episode, guys, we're already on our way to do battle. Alright, let's make this a thing. Let's hope we can actually be victorious of the, on this particular mission. Local resistance forces tipped us to the location of an alien facility tied to the Avatar project operating out of this area. We're going in to shut it down. Permanently. Approach the target and place the X-4 charges at the designated position. Then move to a safe distance for detonation. If we can take out that facility, we might just buy ourselves some time. And we do like bot time, so there's the thing. Alright, so let's go and get this handled. There's nine enemies. Nine. We'll have to remember that. I think we've got it. Alright, well, we don't need to really see this. Landing, the landings are all the same. Target coordinates are locked in. Move to designated position and place the X4 charges. It does look more menacing than normal. Alright, we are concealed, so let's, uh, let's move out and try to stay concealed. Closing on target position now. We'll send Stella up a little bit further forward, inside. and we've already found our first nemesises. And I think that it may be a wise course of action or a really horribly stupid course of action Understood. to prepare ourselves to do murderous things uh... we can send torch down to here get the good old colonel rpg on in and ready to go it should be fine uh... let's see here attack guess we'll stick you over here do you have vision there? It doesn't look like you have vision there. I'm a little concerned with this whole scenario. 
That's fine. We'll make it work somehow. We'll just set you there for now, good sir. We got Stitch that we can send way out over here. The little uh, drone's like, yep, I got a guy. Come on, buddy. Come on, Stitch. It's safe. All right. We have good old Tickles. We'll move on forward. Overstepping Odie. Overstepping his way to victory, maybe. Or potential death and disaster. Either way, we'll see soon enough. And we have good old Pogo Stick ready to go and do Pogo Sticky and things. Let's hope this doesn't trigger something else entirely. It may. In fact, it did with guns, but that's okay. I'm actually okay with the guns being triggered or seen or whatever the case is. Are we done looking at them? Yeah, we're good. Alright, they don't seem to move a whole lot, so what I think I would like to do right now... Let's potentially move... We don't have a timer yet, right? I'm going to move Pogo Stick over oh, yeah. here. She shouldn't be seen. And then I think what we're going to do is maybe scoot a few folks a little bit closer. Though I'm still hesitant to do so. So, like, uh, attack, we can move up here. Understood. Moving out. And I'm curious, how far does her range go? Her kills... Oh, it's just, like, across the universe. Okay. That's pretty cool. Hmm. Okay, well, then we're just going to overwatch with you. We're going to overwatch with the vast majority of the folks, I believe. Eyes on the prize. All right. On Overwatch. 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 Well, we're gonna go into our kill zone move now, and this should be pretty devastating to the enemy. I am looking forward to this actually being a thing. We're gonna, of course, Overwatch with most of our folks right now. Okay, that leaves us with three. Yep. It does. We can run and gun and try to make some stuff happen here. Or we can pro possibly even start off the attack right away. I feel like I don't want to do that. We're going to overwatch with you. We have Tickles that can do some work there. We have our shrapnel and all sorts of other various things. We'll let uh, Tickles start us off. Alright. Overstep and Odie, make it a thing, buddy. B let's blow this popsicle stand or whatever. Terminology you want to use. Kind of destroyed one guy, demolished another guy's armor, hurt him real bad, demolished this guy's armor partially. Put him in a pretty bad situation. Now they're going to be all like, Oh my gosh, what just happened? You're super dead. Our sniper says good day to you, sir. And, oh, we missed. Okay, we didn't miss the second time around. Alright, what else we got? Come on, we got more. We have another shot with our sniper. We missed twice. That is unfortunate. Perhaps she's too far away to land these shots right now. It is possible. Really? Hostiles neutralized, huh? Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright, now we have the thing. Shouldn't she shoot? Shouldn't she be shooting again? I I have a feeling like she should be, and yet she's not. All right. Well, I don't know that this is going to work out to our advantage, but we're going to give it our best shot. Seventy-two percent chance of the double chain shot. Maybe we finish him. Maybe we miss entirely. I don't know. Six hit, and what do we have as a follow-up? Come on, you do it again, Colonel. Let's see what you got, buddy. And eight damage to bring him down. Oh, sweet, sweet victory for us. And Dramadon Shell was killed, and everything worked out well as it should have in our favor. All right, we're gonna do some reloading again. We're not uh, we're not under any pressure right now, which is pretty good. I'll move her down over here and prepare for when we actually have to go and deal with other things. 
I'm gonna do a lot of our reloading right now, folks. And I'm not really prepared to move just yet, so that's a thing. Be aware of it. There will be much, much reloaditude going our way. And I'm looking forward to seeing... Couldn't we build the new rifles? We finished one of those, didn't we? We started building... Ah, that's what I forgot to do. Also, I don't think we had the money or resources we needed to build them, so... Maybe we're fine. Maybe we're fine. We have a reload here. And does that mean we get a free overwatch from him? I'm not sure. We'll see soon enough. And then we have the good old stick over here. I think we're still outside the range of the guns from here. Good, we are. Alright, now we move forward and we take a shot at the guns. Moving to position. And hopefully that's all we see. Okay. The gun is visible, as I assumed, and the other gun, of course, is also visible. And we are visible to those two guns. Alright, let's see if our sniper can't do a little bit of damage here. You know, it may actually behoove me to get the colonel to move here and try to lob a grenade on top of the building to really upset these folks. Also to damage the... Oh, is this real life? You can't do that, buddy? Okay, he apparently can't do that. Um, we can probably just annihilate him straight up. Let's try for it. 85%. Let's hope we land this shot. Super angry. We did 5 damage. Not bad at all. We have, what, like 6 damage that we have to do. Their sniper, 92%. I think we've got it. Let's see. Bam. Oh, we were just short of being able to finish it. Darn it. Did you see that one? Or did we finish it? Oh, we did finish it. That's right. It had 5 plus the 1 armor. Okay, so we did manage to finish it. Um... Haywire Protocol. Oh, I didn't know we could actually hack these, or I forgot. I forgot we could hack these. I actually did know. Alright, we're gonna come on over here, and I don't know what it's going to do. Well, we'll give it a shot. Um, we can shut it down, or we can take temporary control of this turret's automatic... Or it's fire, huh? 44, it gets increased stuff. We're gonna just temporarily stun it. Might as well do it. Oh, we could have gotten in the whole kit and caboodle there. It's alright. They won't be shooting back at us. I'm totally okay with this. This is still a very good situation for me, so we'll take it. We'll take it. It'll be fine. Alright, shut down for two turns. It is currently in a shutdown mode. Alright, Stitch. Let's get you on over here, buddy. Get you to start doing some shooting and murder and death killing. I usually have a pretty good chance to land these shots. Even if you don't, you still usually hit because of your innate ability to be awesome. Deflection. Deflection. Yeah, the armor does tend to slow down our progress a little bit. All right, so we've eliminated three enemies so far. There are six remaining. Not 100% sold or certain as to where exactly they are, but we'll, we'll see. Three more damage done there. And that leaves us with what? Pogo stick is all that's left? Yep, just the stick of Pogo. Well, we will take this 77% shot. We have a better than not chance of winning. And it looks like we won. Very nice. Target neutralized. Target neutralized. We are superheroes. Alright, now the downside. We need to find the rest of the enemy. Without dying. Moving out! The without dying part is key, by the way, for those of you scoring at home. Super important part of that uh, actual statement. We need to do it without being dead. Or dying in any way, shape, or form. Alright, something about going to Lingordia. It's fine. We got chill over here. I suppose Stitch could hop down, though I'm exceptionally hesitant to do so. We're going to hop down here and hide in this little alcove. We're going to see if it's going to be okay. I don't see anything trying to murder me. That's a good sign. Tickles on the high ground. We can get him down below as well. I'm a bit hesitant to go here, but we'll see how this plays out. Oh, we found something. 
Oh dear, that does not look pleasant. Alright, well we do have some overwatching going on, so that's not so bad. Unfortunately, the shot did just manage to graze as opposed to doing anything else. And a lot of our other troops have already made their moves, which means that we're in a seriously, tremendously bad spot right now. Um, I'm pretty sure Odie Overstep is, uh, well, going to have a very bad day. For lack of a better term. Alright, we're going to move over here. I'm hoping there's not, like, another group over this way. And what do we have? We have a 70% chance on you. We have a 63 on you, oddly. Let's go for the 70. Land it. Yeah! Alright, so one less thing to have to deal with. Target eliminated. Still not super thrilled with how this is all going to work out. Alright, well, Odie, good luck, buddy. Oh, you marked our medic, oddly. And are you going to fire on the medic? You are, which is really weird. This guy is completely exposed right now. I guess maybe he's your job. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, you done made a mistake. Oh, Colonel, get him, buddy. Get him, that's my boy. I'm not sure what the alien... Why is he still moving? Seven damage, wasn't that enough to kill him? Okay, well that could have been horrible and it turned out to actually not be a big deal at all. Alright, what does our sniper have? Uh, apparently he murdered our tree that we were using as cover. That's apparently a thing that we decided to do. 53%, not the greatest shot in the world. But it's still a shot. Alright, we'll get the colonel to move forward and other various things. We're gonna have Stitch, uh, I guess, attempt to go for a shot here. 31% chance. Either way, we're gonna do at least three damage. Ah, right, we hit him for six. That's mildly impressive. Alright, the colonel can't make it to any of the covering spots. But with, uh, say, with a high ground advantage, maybe. We're just gonna move forward. We're gonna kill him one way or another. And I'm going to go for actual murder death killing here. A one in three shot. We missed. Okay, I can accept that. I don't know what that means exactly, but probably means it's not real good for us that we missed that. Alright, again, I'm totally fine with exposing ourselves a little bit here. We're going to use our combat protocol and guarantee four damage on him. And then I think we're going to have Pogo just chuck a grenade over the wall and kill him. I think that's exactly how I want to kill this guy off. We could run in and try to slash him with our sword. It could work, it could miss, or it could aggro another group. If we don't do that, we're going to be in a little bit of a better spot. What I'd like to see, maybe Tickles can actually get the shot here. 42%. I think he's got this. And he does. Alright, so we don't have to risk Pogo at all. We're totally fine then. Only the best. Only the best, yeah, that's true. Odie overstepping like a boss and surviving it all. Alright, we're gonna reload you. And I guess we'll just casually overwatch. There's three enemies remaining. One of them is the melee combatant that these guys like. Alright, we're gonna move forward. Probably, we'll probably reload folks as we move onward. And we'll get ourselves prepared for the final three and see if we can't actually kill them off. It's going to be fantastic. We'll use our scanner to find them ahead of time and all that wonderful fun stuff. It is going to be a sweet, a sweet, a nice. We also have our shredder gun thingy that we can do, which I am looking forward to. Our seer is here. We haven't heard anything about like them calling in reinforcements, which is fantastic. Because if they did, we would probably be a little bit sad and probably also a little bit dead. So there is that. I really don't want to move much further forward, so I'm going to move slightly and then reload. Alright, can I have her hop down? Ready to rock. I guess there. On your order. Hoping that doesn't aggro anything else. Doesn't appear to have done so, and he apparently had a free reload as well. And we're going to come over here and reload and we will be set. That is our last move for this turn. Alright, Lupus. Good old tack. Give us our scanning protocol. Show us where the enemy is. And we 
don't have any idea. It did not actually do anything. Well, that's kind of poopy. On the move. My guess is it's inside the building. Like, it would make sense if there was someone guarding the facility. So we'll assume that that's actually the case. I'm also going to roll out with her and move right up to the door here. Hoping that we don't see through the door. That is always a problem when we see through doors or windows in this case. Okay, doesn't look like we saw through the window there either. We we'll get good old Stitch up and closer to the action, ready to go. He is definitely ready to do some murder. This guile haircut has never been more impressive. We we'll get Odie to overstep his way to victory here. Hopefully not doing like our old gunners in XCOM Long War and opening doors for no reason. No, we're good. Okay. That is a great sign. I sort of wish I waited till TAC was over here to do the scan, but... Okay, there's clearly somebody in that area. I'm on it. All right, well we're providing cover fire, and apparently something's happening. And we, I guess, found an enemy. That is probably going to show up. This guy is like inside the door. Is he going to come out of the door? Is he on the second floor? Well, we have some sectoids. We haven't seen those guys in a while. Guy's super dead. There's another one that's about to jump off the roof on us. Or maybe he's stopping at the top of the roof. I don't know which. But either way, it's probably not great. Um, Alright, let's open the door. Opening the door shouldn't be a full action. Okay, what do we have here? We have you way too close to us, and you are also probably pretty close. Alright, well we have lightning hands. Let's lightning hand you in the face. Yeah, that probably didn't feel super good, did it? Oh, you're poisoned. I bet that's just horrible. Absolutely horrible for you. Alright, we'll figure out what we're going to do with you in a moment's time. Uh, Odie, I kind of want to stick you in the room and just have you, like, blow stuff up. Like, I really feel like that's going to be the better play. I sort of don't want to... Hmm. Alright, she can still move. I'm going to put her over here. Seems it's going to be a bit weird, guys. You're probably not going to be 100% thrilled with my strategy here. But assuming I've counted correctly, this should be the last group. And this should put us in a fairly decent position. Be able to shoot you in the face. I'm probably going to back up with Odie and do a giant explosion trying to blow up the area a little bit. Give us a little bit of a better situation here for everything. Sure thing. All right, so we're gonna back up with Odie again. I'm gonna hope that this works. I can't guarantee it will or won't, but again, we'll give it a shot. And gosh, it's hard to see if we even are hitting where we want to. Come on. Right there looks good. This is for you. All right, let's see what this does. I'm actually scared. I don't know if this is gonna work. I was just like, da 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 destroyed everything. The entire building is now missing. The sectoid on the top floor should have fall. Oh, it actually didn't hit the top floor. All right, well that individual should die. I'm very exceptionally tempted to walk over and shoot him in the face, but I feel like if we do that, it may be a mistake. So that being said, what I'd like to do is just to blow your Hit head off everything. right here. Alright, we did seven damage to him. Not enough to kill him, ironically enough. I thought for sure that would be a thing, but that's okay. Alright, what do we have here? You know what? I want to see it happen, guys. I want to see what the shredder gun does. So I am going to unload with it. Holy crap, that was like a super shotgun. That was amazing. Alright, Stitch. You get the kill, buddy. You get the kill. Alright, down it goes. And now it's just basically walking into the... Oh, we gotta get up there. Yeah, would you look at that? 
Moving to position. There's probably guns up there too, which is going to be somewhat problematic. Okay, I don't see the guns, but I'm going to wait. Apparently they're calling in reinforcements. Alright, so be with it. We're going to overwatch with you. We're going to get our sniper to come over here, I think. Probably a fair spot. We're going to try to get our boy over there to hack. Actually, I don't think we can hack. I think we have to go and actually plant the explosive. Either way, Tax is going to be the man to do it. Alright. Stitch, I don't know what we're going to do with you yet. First up, we're going to get this. I'm on it. And it looks like we get an Illyrium core. I'm a big fan of this. Target package secure. Doesn't look like we've aggroed anything else. So, I'm going to overwatch from up get here. It. I'm going to have Tickles move Absolutely. over to this side and overwatch from here. Got it covered. Stitch buddy, why don't you come over here and overwatch? Confirmed. overwatch. And here comes the enemy. And this should be simple and easy. They're overwatching, we're overwatching, there's just tons and tons of overwatching. We're unloading on that guy, we missed, we're taking a shot, we hit somebody or something. Pretty sure we killed them, we fell into a wall apparently with the cameraman. We killed two folks, we didn't kill the third guy because he's technically overwatching, so... Well, that happened, um... Apparently I can't do Haywire Protocol. Alright, we're just going to have to unload on this guy and take him out. That's totally fine with me. Alright, let's say good day to you, sir. Rat-a-tat-tat-tat-tat, get wrecked. Alright, Overwatch has been removed. That is pretty fantastic. We did not do much in the way of damage. I think I'm going to get, um... I think I'm going to get Stitch to actually come in here and do this. Copy that. I don't know if this is going to be a good play or a horrible play. Well, looks like he's jumping over and down and in and he's just going like the most crazy way to get into the place. We're going to try to hack that robot with good old tack over here. Confirmed. Moving back out. around, the overwatch is now down so that's not a big issue. We have haywire protocol. We'll go for it. Not. Might as well. Let's see what kind of hacking we can get done here. It should be sweet, sweet, nice. And we're going to be a little bit better off for the Avatar project after this is finished. So good stuff all around, folks. We can temporarily disable it. Well, I think that's what we want to do. We don't need to risk anything. We don't need him on our side. Whether we would have succeeded or not, it doesn't matter. We'd still have to kill him, so... He's now stunned, quote-unquote, shut down, or temporary, temporarily disabled, if you know what I mean. So he's no big threat or, well, really much of an issue at all. So I'm pretty happy about that whole scenario. We've got this guy coming over here. The good old Colonel's going to get on up into his face hole and shoot him with a large gun. Hopefully removing some of his armor. There we go. We shredded a little bit of it. There's only five of his HP left. We can have Pogo Stick take the shot. We can have Pogo Stick actually do other murderous things. Or we can have our sniper go and try it. Let's see if the seer can see indeed, and bam. Wrecked! Nine damage. Impressed yet? I'm a little bit impressed, I'm not gonna lie. Menace one five. We're not picking up any additional contacts near the AO. Oh nice. Proceed to plant the X4 charges and move to evac. I was expecting there to be another like a uh, like a continuous stream of nasty guys coming our way, but hey. Looks like we're in the clear right now, and I like that. Oh yeah. On overwatch. Alright, we'll be able to do this with Stitch if we ever get inside the building. Okay. Let's plant the explosive. Plant the X4 and. Doot, 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 and we are done. Menace 1 5, status confirmed. X4 charges are armed. Move to the extraction point for immediate evac. Alright, we just have to get out of here. And that should be simple and easy. Everyone can make it to the extraction point from right here, and victory will be ours. Alright, go ahead and extract, sire. 
Let's get you to extract as well, good sir. Nebrito. All right, Nebrito or Burrito or something. I don't know. It's fine. You can leave, Seer. Well played. I don't I'm know if fine. anyone's earned a promotion this time around. I think somebody did. I don't know who, though. Headed there now. On my way. I'm not entirely certain who actually earned the promotion. But I'm sure someone did. And we are out of here. We have all boogied and we are good to go. And that is the mission complete. Menace 1 5, status confirmed. X 4 charges detonating. Well, there you go, folks. Victory is ours and just about 30 minutes to do the whole thing. Not bad this time around, guys. Flawless, no one took any damage. Uh, the AI was kind of dumb. They had a pretty good chance of doing some damage to us, overstepping Odie, but. Well, they decided not to, so there we go. We'll accept that and we will fly back. Our cover was 19.81, 91.67, 5.97. Colonel RPG dealt the most damage, made the most attacks. Stitch was the most under fire, and he moved the furthest. So, there you have it. There you have it, folks. There you have it. I'm actually really, really happy that it seems like our percent chance to hit has been greatly improved since Long War at least, and probably even from Enemy Unknown and Enemy Within. Though I don't remember there being a lot of like horribly just face palmy miss chances. Like there were some, but it wasn't like a big thing. Like in XCOM Long War, it was horrible. Like we missed all the time. Eh, it is what it is, guys. In my solo plane between um the last few episodes, I did a lot of solo playing to get through a lot of the monotony. I didn't want to add the extra 40 to 80 episodes that would actually have come from playing that on camera. I got to a few points where I was like, wow, I just made a ridiculous shot. I wonder how many times in a row I can make that. So I'd make a save point, reload back to the like earlier in the turn, and I would play it, or I would fire on it, and I would see. And there were so many shots that were just absolutely ludicrous. Like, I had 92% shots. I did this on several different occasions just to see if the RNG really was there. So I remember I had like a 97% chance to hit something. And I missed, I think it was 15 times in a row before I finally landed the shot. And I'm like, holy crap, what is this? And then, of course, I reloaded from the save point I made after the shot was already missed. So on and so the forth. the troops to expect the best, and that's what you've shown them, Commander. Well done. Thank you. Hey, we did promote uh, Pogo. Excellent. All right. Well, we're gonna go with Blade Storm more than likely. Let's see what this does. Free sword attacks on any enemies that enter or attack from melee range. That's pretty awesome. I like that. So we're gonna make that a thing. Very good. Very good. All right. So it's kind of like a. Uh, it's kind of like close combat specialist, but melee range as opposed to like three or four tiles out. So that's still pretty good. 6 and 16, 6 and 13, 18 and 34, 10 and 18, 31, 33. They're catching up and closing the distance with a uh, face tank. Sadly, Colonel RPG just is not leveling. I don't know what his deal is. All right, we got our Illyrium core. Your troops performed admirably, Commander. Destroying that facility will slow the aliens' development of the Avatar project and give us time to further establish the resistance movement. Well, unfortunately, we only got one thing reduced there. It's kind of crappy, but that's okay. I'll take it. Either way, folks, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, well, stick around or come back tomorrow or do something. I don't know, guys. I've actually recorded a whole bunch today. I have no idea if I'm doing today and tomorrow's or yesterday and a split day or two in one day. I don't know what's going on anymore. It's fine. We're just going to roll with it. All anyway, right, folks, I'll see you next Shen time with Shen. On Tigan, but at this point... We need all the help we can get. Okay. Uh, and we'll see you guys next time with a little bit more XCOM 2. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.